Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be starting the first chapter of class 9 and uh, science and the name of the chapter is matter in our surroundings. So what exactly is matter? Let us consider this scene, right? This room. So what are the things do you see? You see a clock, you see a rolling chair. It seems quite nice. There is a plant over there in the right. You have a window and outside that window you have some clouds and a moon and you have a computer, you have pencils, you have photos hanging, you have you have a table, you have a table lamp, everything, every single thing in this room is actually matter. Okay, so even the air that is present in this room is matter. So what is matter? Everything around us, everything that we feel, everything that we touch, feel in the sense feeling by touching or by breathing or something like that not the feeling of love hate those things right so everything that you touch everything around you is actually matter okay so the, uh, what i just told is a generalized way coming to the definition of matter you can say something if it occupies space that is volume like uh, a table has a volume uh, a clock has a volume like it occupies space right you can actually calculate the volume of it the amount of space that it occupies in your room right so something if it occupies space and has mass you call it a matter right so what exactly is mass um, in simple terms you can you can say that uh, the amount of weight it possesses but it actually is not weight uh, mass is absolute, weight is relative. We will uh, just don't complicate it about it. Like we, we will see that later. Okay. If something has space, something occupies space and has mass, we call it matter. Okay. That's it. Now we have introduced two terms here. One is volume and the other one is mass. Right. So what exactly is the way of measurement, the unit of measurement for this? For mass, the SI unit is kilogram and for volume, the SI unit is meter cube, right? So generally for volume, we uh, we use liters, right? Uh, in India, we use liters and in some other countries, they use uh, gallons or ounces, right? First, uh, uh, liter is what we commonly use, but the SI unit of volume is meter cube. Remember it, right? So uh, just a small hint for you to remember meter cube is uh, just consider a cube right the 3d shape cube and how exactly would you calculate volume for it right you would have learnt it in maths uh, probably in your previous year um, so like for a cube it would be length into breadth into height and for a cube since all the sides are same it's a cube right where a is the side of the cube so um one side it's uh, like its length right length the si unit of distance is meters so you are uh, multiplying meters by meter by meter and that gives you meter cube right so uh, that is how we calculate the volume of a cube a into a into a so uh, like i am just telling this for you to remember that uh, volume is measured in meter cube in the standard system SA unit okay and uh, classification so coming to classification matter can be classified based on its physical properties and its chemical properties right in this particular chapter we will be focusing on the classification of matter based on the physical properties meaning the state at which it is in okay so what exactly do do I mean by state so if you consider ice cube it is a solid right and if you consider a bottle of water it's liquid and if you just pour the water in a pan not a pan some vessel and start boiling it you'll you'll start to see vapors coming out of it which is water vapors which is gas right so matter can exist in these three uh, states okay uh, we will see more about this in the uh, upcoming videos but well, like what do i mean by physical properties is that the state at which it is in that is what we mean by 
physical properties how do you uh, how how is it physically present in this world that is what we mean by that and we we are, we are classifying matter based on its physical properties and also chemical properties now uh, coming to the physical nature of matter there were two schools of thoughts meaning two uh, suggestions or ideas how matter existed right so there was team blue which thought that matter is like a uh, block a wooden block so it's continuous that is what they thought and this is one school of thought and the other one was where they thought matter is a particle particle in the sense it's like sand it's granular you can like it's yeah, it it's it's not continuous right it's discrete uh, particle like granular uh, you can just think of a sand one school of thought that is one team thought it was like wooden block and the other one thought it was like sand okay these were the two uh, ideologies that were uh, going around so what exactly is matter is it a block or a particle we'll do a very small activity to come up with a conclusion for ourselves right okay so this is the activity that we are going to do we are going to take a glass beaker we are going to fill it half with water and we are going to make a mark on the water level right okay uh, you, you 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 just have to see the picture where i have written number 1 okay so we have taken a beaker we have filled it half with water and we have marked the water level okay now we are going to add salt into it we are going to add some salt into it and we are going to stir it well with the glass rod fine now after doing this if you could observe the water level it wouldn't have changed why exactly is that we know that matter matter has volume right the salt actually has some volume okay it's not like air like even air has volume but um what i'm trying to tell is that salt has volume and when you have dropped it in water and stirred it well did that volume get lost all of a sudden because the water level hasn't increased right so what is the reason for this where did the salt go the salt particles they got in between the spaces of the water particles okay uh, the water uh, like we are we are pouring salt into the water right and the salt particles they have got into the spaces that are between the water particles and that is why the level of water hasn't raised it it, it didn't raise because the particles got in between the spaces okay so uh, that is why uh the level of water didn't increase so what we can conclude from this that matter is actually particle like Mat matter or particles so team red one right they they were the ones they were guessing that um matter was particles and not a block so this team red and team blue these are things that i just made up um don't go write it in any books it's just Uh, like people thought it could be a block or it could be a particle and later we came to a conclusion that it is a particle that is all right so we have concluded that it is a particle matter is actually a particle so how small is the particle okay that is the next question that you come up with and that we'll see in the next video so i think it's a, it's quite a short video but uh, we are just starting out our uh, um lesson right so we'll take it slow uh, this is quite a easy chapter uh, we'll get through this quickly and um, this this is just to get you started with uh, everything no this is not like they don't want you to uh, jump straight into the middle of the sea you're just going to wet your feet now so it's quite an easy chapter we'll uh, move along we'll see how things goes if you have any suggestions please uh, let me know in the comments and if you like the video please like the video and uh, see you on the next video of this chapter bye bye for now